What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fantasy Football Game Show presented by Front Yard Fantasy. I'm your host, Simon, joined as always by my co-host, John Luke Garofalo and Jay Felicio. What's up, guys? What up? What's happening? Nice hat, Jay. Where'd you get that? The hat store? The toilet store. <laughs> nice. Classic. And you can access the toilet store at FYFshop.com. That's where all the good toilet stuff is. That's guys, not even also, our website. I know. I forget <laughs> 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 If you go there, go there at your own risk. Uh, because last time I checked any of our domain names, FYF.com was selling dick butt NFTs. Like where okay. it was just like the, the little cartoon character with the butt and they were selling NFTs there. So um, he's really not making that up. <laughs> no, that's very real. <laughs> Guys, also joining us today, we've got great friend of the show and a legend of the fantasy football industry, Bob Harris. For those of you that do not know Bob, Bob is the senior editor over at footballdiehards.com, and he's the host of Football Diehards on Sirius XM Fantasy and NFL Radio. Bob, thank you so much for joining us today, my man. Thank you so much for the invitation. I love coming on with you guys, and I couldn't be happier to be playing Jeopardy with you today. <laughs> no, Bob. Man, we are so excited to play Jeopardy with Bob today, and hopefully nothing disappoints his expectations about what game we're going to be playing. Guys, we got some people in the chat ready for today's show. Carlos, what's up, my Carlos. man? He says, let's Carlos. play Fantasy Fortune. What? So at least one of you is going to be disappointed, either Carlos or Bob. I'm not <laughs> sure which one. Someone's going to be a little <laughs> bit upset. Um, we got Albert in here saying, hello, everyone. What's up, Albert? Welcome, hello, Albert. Glad to have you here. Hey, Albert. And uh, we got Treg in here with a question for us to start the show off before we start playing some fortune. Treg wants to know who you got, Miami or Cincinnati? Bob, we'll start with you. Who do you think is going to win Thursday Night Football tonight? Is it going to be the Dolphins undefeated or the Bengals with a bounce-back performance? Uh, I think it's the Bengals with a bounce-back performance. We'll see what Tua can do if he even plays. I think he probably will. Maybe it won't go great. So I'm going to go with the Bengals. Joe Burrow seems to be coming on. Let's go with Cincinnati's offensive line. Get serious about this. Get serious. Jay, what about you? Who you got? Yeah, I'm going Cincy simply because they're wearing the white helmets. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, are they wearing the white helmets tonight? Yeah, white helmets. My answer. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The, white, white. the white jersey. Oh, white, okay. White. How am I going to cheer against that? Those are some of the cleanest uniforms Man. in the NFL, at least for the first quarter. Um, JL, where are you going? I'm going Cincy. <laughs> Hate to disappoint here. Um, you know what? As much as I love the uniforms, I, I still think Miami gets it done. I, I think this Miami offense will be rolling. I think two is <clears> going to be fine out there on the field. And I think Joe Burrow's going to spend a lot of the night on his back back um, I, I would i would you know this would not bother me uh, terribly I, I think you know we all can just like relate to mike mcdaniel so much that that we're fine with you know however much he wins uh and i uh, want to see how he handles the loss here i'm sure it'll be very cool as well but, but what a, what, a, what, a, what, <laughs> what an interesting character it? did you guys hear the report that and he goes all ken was, dorsey that somebody was watching <laughs> the practice from cincinnati and so he threw out a 12th player so right. nobody knows if it was, you know, <laughs> who was the fake player on the play. Like you just got to love stuff like that instead yep, of getting hilarious. the guy thrown out. Yeah, like, that Ken Dorsey of... video was wild though, Bob, you bringing that up. Like I was cracking up whenever they showed that on the broadcast, like, Oh my, that poor guy, because like, not that you do it often, but I feel like everyone's been there. What, or like that one thing just puts you. you, know, like you I do it often. I do it like you. seven times a day. Every, right, every Sunday when uh, if I lose a fantasy matchup, that's that's what it looks that's like. It, that's the reaction. I mean, I rip paper. I don't break tablets. But like that's probably just because of my salary compared to his salary. Like <laughs> it, a tablet for him is a notepad for me. No, like, it, it, it may, I remember like there was, I, and I thought they were just joking at the time. But Josh Allen, you, you know, kind of mentioned and it seemed jokingly that yeah, Dorsey's a psychotic. Oh, apparently so. <laughs> right. Yeah. Was not being hyperbolic. Because we brought Bob here to play either Fantasy Jeopardy or Fantasy Fortune. We we'll will find, find out, out we'll shortly. Before we do that, though, a couple reminders. First and foremost, if you're watching this video, go ahead and throw a like on here. It's the easiest way to show your support for what we're doing. And if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button to FanDuel's channel. Then make sure you're checking out FanDuel across all their social platforms. You can find them on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at FanDuel everywhere. They have a whole team of content creators almost as funny and handsome as we are. Um, and you guys want to be following along. After you do that, head on over to uh, Twitter. You, you already went there. You, you typed in FanDuel. And make sure you're following our guest, Bob Harris, on Twitter at Football Diehard. It's probably already going to say following when you go to his profile. But if it doesn't, it better. Don't it panic. right Don't panic. now. Yeah, do not panic. It's so easy. It's just one click to fix that mistake. So I'm looking at the graphic on Twitter. I'm trying to decide who looks better, Simon, in that super cool hat or that all-white Bengals uniform. It's like it's six of one, half dozen of the other. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> imagine they take off the helmet, they throw on cowboy hats, and they play the game that way. That's, Ooh, that's the that. ultimate uniform. Idiot. We get the cowboy bangles um, in that one. Guys, after you follow Bob, head on back over here and just play some fantasy fortune with us. We are about to start our game. We want you guys to play along in the chat with us. Um, and Bob, I'm sorry, I just revealed that it is in fact not Jeopardy today. It is Fantasy Fortune. So all that prep you've been doing was Where's just my a, tablet. It was just to throw you. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody puts you're... their hand over over Bob's camera when he's going going off on it, like they did. <laughs> you see his cat reach over and put a paw over the camera right there. <laughs> Right, Jail is going to be running today's game of Fantasy Fortune. Jail, you want to tell us how this works? You want me to run through the rules? I want you to run through the rules. You got them down. Perfect. The game today is Fantasy Fortune. It's a lot like the popular TV show Wheel of Fortune, but with an NFL or fantasy football twist. Instead of spinning the wheel, contestants are going to be answering 50-50 NFL or fantasy-related trivia questions. Get the question right, you're going to get to guess a continent that you think appears in the puzzle on the board. For every instance of the continent that shows up, you're going to add $500 to your round bank. Now, you get that right, you're going to get to go again. Same procedure, question, consonant, question, consonant. But if you get three in a row right, that will be the end of your turn. You've got five seconds to solve or we're moving on to the next contestant. Any money you earned, though, if you get three right, will be added to your total bank. So you can win this game solving puzzles or by just answering questions right if you're not killing it on the puzzles today. During your turn, there are two other moves you can make. At any point, you can choose to buy a vowel um, or you can choose to solve the puzzle. In order to buy a vowel, you need to have a minimum of $500 and they're going to cost $100 apiece up to a max of $500. If you solve the puzzle, you will earn a minimum of $1,000 into your total bank. That's not $1,000 plus. So if you've got $2,000 in your round bank, you're going to earn $2,000. But if you've got $500 down there, you'll earn $1,000 into your round bank. Those two actions can only be done before a question has been asked, though. Once a question has started being asked, you got to answer the question before you can do anything else. We'll go like this until we run out of puzzles, run out of time, or all of our internet goes out, at which point the person with the most money will be the Fantasy Fortune Champion for today. I'd like Ready? to solve the puzzle. Go ahead and say it exactly how it's written. All right, guys, you ready to get into this game? Go. Let's do it. All right. This first puzzle, did you did you explain the toss up one time? I, I did wasn't not. I did not. And one more reminder: anytime a puzzle goes up on the board, all of the contestants need to make sure we're in the private chat, not in the comments, because everybody that's in the in the chat, we want you to play along. If you think you know the answer to the puzzle, throw it in there. We'll shout you out if you're right, especially if it's before we solve it on screen, and we'll mock you if it's really wrong. Um, but that's all part of the fun. That is true. All right. Make- all right, guys. Yep, out of the chat. We are going to start our first puzzle. I'm going to load it up. This one is. It's going to work a little differently. It's a toss-up puzzle. I'm going to reveal this puzzle here, and I'm going to slowly reveal letters. You have to say your name when you believe that you have the answer. This is an NFL player puzzle. NFL player puzzle. All right? I'm going to start revealing letters. Say your own name when you think you have it. Jay. Simon. I heard Jeff Jay Wilson. first. Jeff Wilson, Jr. Jeff Wilson, Jr. is correct. You will get 500, Jay, and you get to go first on the next puzzle. Well done. It was my internet. Sir. I know I said it before, Jay. It's right. just it's that it's right. that Texas internet that it's did that it. Texas you got better internet. internet North, North Carolina is closer than Texas to Baltimore, exactly. So, so the internet has to me. travel. I've, I've got to right. get into groove. I mean, I'm like sitting there going, "It's Jeff." Uh, Jeff. Like, it Jr. Gave, like totally gave it away. I should have known. Like, when I saw the F show up, Jail, you've broken me by continuously calling our producer on our morning show, Keith. Keith. So Keith. I immediately was like, Keith, um, what's the last name going on over Keith here? Keith Wilson. It was the only name I could think of that ended with F. Mr. Scampers got this one in the chat. Scampers. And, and Scampers, he's everywhere. Yeah, that cat yeah. is Love everywhere. That Love that cat too. DJ asking, are you doing fantasy questions as well? Yes, we are. Go ahead and throw them in the chat. We will get to them in between rounds. So throw your fantasy questions in there. We'll get to them. And if we do not, a reminder for everybody else, if we don't get to your question during the show today, right after this over on our YouTube channel at Front Yard Fantasy, starting at 6.05 p.m. Eastern time, we have fantasy football office hours where all we're doing is answering your fantasy questions. Uh, Myself, Joey, and our friend Britt Flynn will be over there answering any and all questions you have. So head on over there after this if we don't get to your question during the show today. All right, guys. Uh, so D- DJ did have a question. He said, I accepted a trade to be active next week, but I got T Higgins and gave up CD lamb. Did I make a bad move by giving up T or giving up CD lamb for T Higgins? What do you think, uh, Bob? 
I mean, I could, I've seen worse trades. I probably would not have done this one. I'd probably rather have the leading piece. I, I get it. CD Lamb wasn't great, you know, in the brief spell with Dak, and he wasn't great to start last week's game, but he finished pretty strong. Uh, I think by the time the season's done, you'd probably rather have CD Lamb, but I don't think it's like by a, a wide margin. So, uh, again, I've done worse trades. I think these guys are in a similar tier, right? And it's not that this is a bad trade. It's just the kind of trade that I generally don't make. Like same position, right? Yeah, rearranging the furniture. It's just sending one wide receiver in a tier for another wide receiver in the same tier. So somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to lose. It's going to be harder to trade with this person in the future. If you're the one who won, you're not going to want to trade with this person as much in the future if you're the one who lost this move. So I I don't mind the trade. I like T Higgins. I'm high on him rest of the year. And I think there's going to be plenty of weeks where he outscores Jamar Chase, right? Like this is a true 1A, 1B scenario, but this is just a trade that I wouldn't make. Um, It's not that I think it's a bad trade. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you 100%, Simon. That's how I like to trade as well. Damon here saying, hi, lovely people. Hi, Damon. What's up, Damon? Hello, Damon. Hi, Damon. Damon, welcome in. And I missed Mr. Scamper's original message. He said, hey, hi, hello, Bob. Me and Scampers, we're like this. <laughs> That's very finger. Scott said, hey, guys, what up, Scott? <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. All right, guys, let's get into our next puzzle. We will, let's do we will it. try and get hit your questions uh, after the next round. We are going to continue on with our game. Jay got this one correct. So, Jay, you are going first. In our cool. second puzzle, the category for this one, first names, same team. So this is one, two, three, four, four players who are on the same team, and it's just their first names. And it's crossword style, if you didn't get that. So crossword style, you don't have to say it in any particular order when you solve it, but you have to get all the names correctly. Jay, you ready for your first question? Let's do it. All right, we're starting We're starting off nice and simple. Nice and simple. Which player had more PPR fantasy points, has more PPR fantasy points on the season? On the season, all right? And all my fantasy points questions are going to be PPR, all right? So if I don't say it, you can assume PPR. You can also ask. I'll probably answer again. And throw your your, uh, guesses in the chat. It's super fun to play along. And the contestants are out of the chat, so they won't see it. And we'll praise you if you get it before them. We'll make fun of them. So you want us to make fun of them, throw it in the chat, solve it. Jay, which player had more... PPR fantasy points on the season. Which player has more fee- PPR fantasy points on the season? Is it Tyree Kill or is it Justin Jefferson? Is this PPR points? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to go with Tyreek Hill. You're going with Tyreek Hill, and that is correct. Jay, what letter would you like? Let's go with an R. R. There are two R's. Two R's, that's going to give you a thousand in thousand? Yeah, thousand in your round. Whoops. 500. There you go. It's going to give you a thousand in your round bank, Jay. You can buy a vow here. You can take another question or you can solve this puzzle. Let's go with another question. Another question. You got it. Jay, tell me who has more PPR fantasy points on the season? Who has more PPR fantasy points on the season? Is it Michael Thomas or is it Christian Kirk? Christian Kirk. That is correct. What letter would you like? Let's go with an N for Nancy. Wrong. N. Two N's. Dang Another it. thousand, Jay. And your options are the same, but we are going into your third question. It means this is your last opportunity to buy vowels this turn. What would you like to do? Uh, let's go with another question. Another question. All right. Who has more passing yards in the season? Jayathy, who has more passing yards 2022 name is it kyler murray or is it carson wentz Hmm. Uh, uh, this this last game make that way more difficult than it should be i'm gonna go with carson wentz that is correct. Jay, what letter would you like to guess here? Get this right, and you will be banking this money. Let's go with a D. D. Give him the D. Two Ds. Okay. There you go. Jay, that's going to give you another 1,000, which is going to bank. You're going to bank that 3,000, and I'm going to give you five seconds to try and solve this starting now. I know one name, and that's about it. So it's not going to happen. Bonk. We're moving on to Bob. Bob, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. 
I'm doing fine. I like that. I like that. You ready for a question or you what would you like to solve? Is this based on PPR scoring? It is based off PPR scoring. <laughs> on the season? On the season, PPR right, oh. scoring. Question. You got it. All right. Uh, Bob, tell me, who has more interceptions in the season? Who has more interceptions in 2022? Is it Joe Burrow or is it Josh Allen? It's Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's absolutely correct, Bob. What letter would you like to guess? I'll take a T, please. T. Bonk. No T's. Not a single T. My feelings no are teams. Hurt. They sh- as they should be. I would like I'll to solve. I'll take into places for 200. <laughs> Simon, you'd like to solve? You can say it exactly how it's written. No particular order. I thought one of these names was spelled different, but everything else fits. So, Brandon, Mac, Derek, and Josh. Simon, you nailed it. It is the, it is the Raiders offense. Matt Boom. Collins, Derek Carr, Brandon Bolden, and... Josh Jacobs. That's I was who it so was. stuck on the Texans for a moment there with Brandon, but then I was like, there are not four fantasy relevant players on the Texans that you would make a puzzle with. So I started thinking of other Brandons in the league. That was smart. I kept going to Brandon Jacobs. I, maybe because I'm a Giants fan. I don't know, but yeah, that, that I did not go to Brandon Jacobs. Was not even a thought to go to Brandon Jacobs. So the reason I, I put this puzzle in here is Matt Collins. He's been playing pretty well, pretty well. Uh, for for what we expect to come into the season, Bob, how are you feeling about Matt, Matt Collins going forward? Do you think he'll be relevant, <clears throat> fantasy relevant, even with Hunter Renfro coming back? I don't know if Hunter Renfro is coming back this week though. He hasn't practiced yet this week. Didn't practice sure. again today. So, uh, so yeah, they've been. This kind of goes back into the summer, right? When we started hearing that Josh McDaniels was really keen on this guy. He's a smart player. A lot of talk that I've heard over time that you know he'll eventually be a coaching type person, you know, that he's that kind of guy. So, so yeah, I'm kind of buying this. Uh, it's not going to be 10 targets every week, but uh, I think he's going to have a role, right? He's, I mean, he's a starter on the outside opposite Devontae Adams. He's going to, he's going to be part of this offense. You agree, Simon? Are you psyched? Yeah. I mean, like define excited. Like, I think he's worth rostering. You should have him on your field, have him on your team. He's not an every week start for me, but dude's on the field all the time. Like, like, like Bob said, he is a starter. Even when Hunter Renfro was active, he was on the field for close to 90% of the snaps. Mm -hmm. And when Hunter Renfro wasn't active, it was almost a hundred percent sitting there at like 97. Um, You can't ignore a wide receiver with the playmaking ability. He does. That's on the field that much. Like this isn't a start Matt Collins every week, but this is feel fine. If you got to start him. like, if you got to plug him in, you're good to go. There's way players with way less opportunity that people are starting in fantasy. He's like the Zay Jones of the Raiders. Oh, oh exactly. <laughs> What's his name on the Raiders? <laughs> Jay, I got a question for you. Actually, I don't have the question. Brett Francois has the question. Start Tua, Tunga Vailoa, or Russell Wilson this week? If two is active, you have to go to it, especially the way that the Denver offense has <clears> looked and Russell Wilson uh, has been cooking ramen noodles. That's about it. Tua is in the MVP consideration. You know, he's got Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell. No hesitation. You go to it here. Going to it. What about you, Simon? Yeah, I think I'm going to it here as well, though. I think the game, the the Broncos Raiders game might be a nice time for Russell Wilson to start looking good. But I, I've been on record saying I'm, I'm spooked by this Denver offense. Like I am not trusting that they're just going to get it get together because they have Russell Wilson. It's a new head coach with a new quarterback that they're trying to fit into like his specific style of system. And it's it's weird watching it. So until I see it, if I've got other options, I'm going with them. And with one as good as two, I even with the injury questions, I, I got to start two in this matchup. Is it a sweep, Bob? All it's two a sweep. Up? Start start gobbling up these pieces as people drop them for a you know second half of the season coalescence, right? And, and everybody starts figuring out. And Nathaniel Hackett remembers what an offense is. Russ <laughs> remembers how to cook. Uh, they decide that Javante is the guy that should have the ball in his hands. All those things. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. We have another, another question here before we – or two more questions before we move on to our next puzzle. Michael Ford asking, Mackenzie Thielen or Juju Smith-Schuster, I need one full PPR. Bob, what do you think? I always take the old people, so uh, it would probably be Adam Thielen. I, I don't know. I don't like the matchup that much. Mackenzie's, you know, kind of touchdown dependent, it seems, that he's splitting that role with Jameson Crowder, that slot role. So, I mean, you, you can hit the bonanza there, right? I mean, everybody's – Everybody's got a lottery ticket that's in this offense for Buffalo. So I like that, especially against Baltimore secondary uh, and maybe even especially the slot play in that secondary. Smith-Schuster, I'm not feeling. I, You know, we should believe Patrick Mahomes for fantasy purposes. 
you know, you shouldn't rely on any of these players uh, unless you're in a pinch. So I- I'm going to lean Thielen, uh, but probably a lot of people would like McKenzie. What about you, Jay? How are you feeling about this one? I'm going to lean Juju. I like him a little more than most. Um, he's got eight targets in two of the three games so far this season. Um, and I expect a lot of points to be scored in the game between the Chiefs and the Bucks. So uh, it's definitely between Thielen and Juju for me. Um, but I lean ever so slightly to Juju. Me and Juju. Simon, do you want to start the Bills defense or the Saints this week? Ooh, Bills defense or Saints defense this week? Man, I, uh, I've i got my defenses that I know I've been starting this uh, regularly. but um, So Bills are playing Baltimore and the Saints are yeah. playing Minnesota. Like the In answer London. that you want to say is Bills, right? Because it's the Bills defense. But going up against Baltimore, that's a little bit tough. Uh, the Saints playing Minnesota and London. Man, I, I think what I'm going to time go is that game in London? Is that like prime time in London? If it is, well, we, it's an easy answer. But. <laughs> yeah, I think it is prime time <laughs> yeah. in London. We get some prime time Kirk. Um, I'll go Saints defense. I want to say Bills. It's tough to pick against the Bills D, but no right. team is matchup proof against Lamar Jackson. And Cook is banged up too. So, yeah. All right, guys, let's get into our next puzzle here. We are going into the third one. Third one. Who got that right? Simon got that right. So, Bob, we're not coming to you first. We're going to Jay first. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'll just hit her with my M&Ms. Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got rhyme time. Rhyme time. Excuse me? Pretty self-explanatory. Rhyme time. All right, Jay, you ready for a question? Uh, Sure. All right, Jay, uh, which team has more wins? Which team has more wins? Is it the Browns or is it Colts? The Browns. Browns is correct. What letter would you like? Um, Let's go with an S. S. There's one, two S's. It's going to give you a thousand in your round like bank. Jim Ursay wasn't mad enough and you guys are out here trolling him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, what would you like to do? You could buy a Val. Take another question or you could solve it. Let's go with another question. It's too early for a Val. All right, Jay, it's which NFL team has more rushing attempts so far in 2022? Which NFL team has more rushing attempts so far in 2022? Is it the Rams or is it the Cowboys? I don't like these creative questions they're coming up with. I don't appreciate them. Creative? Is this PPR scoring? This is PPR (laughs) scoring. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying and asking that, Bob, because that changes my answer. 2022. The the Cowboys. You're going to go with the Cowboys. Sorry, Jay, but that is correct. What letter would you like? Fancy. You got me there for a second. Let's go with R. 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 There are three R's. It's going to give you 1,500 additional dollars in your round bank. Would you like to do here, Jay? Let's buy an A. Buying an A. There are four A's. That's going to cost you four hundo. One, two, three, four. Would you like to do, Jay? Let's buy an I. Buying an I. There are four I's. Whoa. What would you like to do here, Jay? All right, I'm going to go into my next question. Yeah, go into the next question. I swear, if these first two words are the – like when this was blank, I had two words in my head that I just plugged into that, and so far all of the letters are lining up, and I'm like freaking out a little bit. And I know I'm just going to get in my head, and it's not going to be that, and then I'm going to be disappointed and not solve the puzzle and just like be pouting about it. But I'm just right mad now, that the third word isn't Harris. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that it is. That it isn't. Maybe uh, it's uh, Harris, it's but solved. spelled wrong. Yeah. Harass. It's Harris. Harris. <laughs> Harris spelled wrong. He's just harassed. All right, Jay. Uh, which team has more rushing yards so far in the season? Which team has more rushing yards so far in the season? Is it the Vikings or is it the Panthers? I'm going to need an answer. Let's go with the Panthers. What was that? Panthers. Panthers is correct. What letter would you like? Let's go with an N for Nancy. Nancy gets two. Oh my God. That, that was your third, right? That was my third. It was. All right, you're going to make it, and you have five seconds to solve now. I'm so close. 
Bonk. Bob, we're moving on to you. Would you like to solve or would you like a question? A question, please. Based on PPR scoring, if at all possible. I I can absolutely accommodate that request. Bob, tell me which team has more passing yards 2022. Which team has more passing yards in 2022? Is it the Lions or is it the Jets? It's the Lions. Sorry, it's the Jets, Bob. It's the Jets. I know. that. Like the first one I haven't known. All these answers, I'm just going, this is piece of cake. Easy, easy, that one. We'll come back around to you. Simon, we're on to you. I need a question. Need a question. All right. Uh, which NFL team has scored more touchdowns? More? Pa- I'm sorry. Has thrown more passing touchdowns? 2022. Is it the Dolphins or is it the Raiders? Dolphins. That is correct. What letter would you like? D. Give me D. the D. Give him the D. Two Ds. Oh my. God. A thousand. You can buy a vowel. Yeah, I'll buy a vowel. I know it. I know it. Oh, I know it too. I would like to solve. I would like to solve. Drinking soda with Marcus Mariota. (laughs) Drinking soda with Marcus Mariota. (laughs) I I solved drinking soda before anything else (laughs) in this puzzle, and I have no idea how that worked. I could not figure out soda. One damn answer, and I would have (laughs) had. Oh man, (laughs) brutal! Absolutely brutal. How you feeling about Marcus Mariota so far, Bob? Would you drink soda with him? G- I would drink soda chance? with Marcus Mariota all day long. I, you know, so I did invest a fair amount in him in Superflex and two quarterback leagues, not as the second option, but as the third. And I think he's more than returning the value because I mean he was essentially free with the rushing equity. I mean, the, and this week, all day, I want all the Mariota I can get this week. He will be in many a tournament lineups with this matchup against Cleveland. Uh, especially without Miles Garrett. I think uh, two depleted secondaries, maybe a little more passing in this game than we all expect. And also the running. It's fantastic. Yeah. You agree with him, Simon? Yeah, I agree. Uh, he, he's someone you can pro- start in a spot. If you're streaming quarterback uh, in good matchups, I'd throw Marcus Mariota out there. Not too worried about Ritter taking over at any point this season based on what we've seen. So far. Yeah. So, so far. far. All right, we got a question from Albert in here. Khalil Herbert or Jamal Williams, full PPR? What do you think, Jay? I'm going to go Jamal Williams based on the Lions offensive line. Um, And there's a chance that David Montgomery might play this week. So I don't think that's going to be the case with DeAndre Swift, especially I want to see that touchdown dance one more time. Just Jamal Uh, Williams, just remember (laughs) two pumps, anything more than that, you're going to get a penalty. No, please do three or four. I I live for that third and fourth pump from Jamal Williams. (laughs) I I still feel like you should always start running backs playing in high school offenses. (laughs) <laughs> oh, so mean is it mean so if it's mean. true i don't probably not i'm going jamal williams as well bob are you going jamal williams or khalil herbert i'm probably a slight lean to jamal williams since i'm all in on the lions who apparently don't pass as much as i think <laughs> apparently not and we got one last question before we get into our next round smoky, smoky the, the cat, cat. Asking, I'm back, guys. What we, we got the cat market cornered over yeah. here, Bob. Dang, man. I love <laughs> it. That's our niche. That's That's our our niche. You're going to have a hard time keeping me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, never, we'd never try. <laughs> uh, he says, I'm back, guys. Who wins Kelsey, Khalil Herbert, and Brandon Ayuk, or AJ Brown and Javante Williams in this trade, PPR? What do you think, Bob? Who, who, Which side of this trade would you prefer? I'll take the AJ Brown, Javante Williams side. I think there's shelf life. There's a shelf life on Herbert. I know, like, you know, this goes back to June. I think, you know, on the serious show, Chris Emma started coming on from 670 to score saying Herbert, the coaches thought he's a think he's a better fit. Uh, but I think, you know, every time you see Montgomery and he plays well, it's it's gonna be a limiting factor. I think he's gonna play enough to be a limiting factor there. I'm kind of an Ayuk guy, but after watching Jimmy G last week, I'm less so. Uh, so I'm going to take that A.J. Brown side and hope Javante Williams gets course corrected here. And at some point, Nathaniel Hackett comes with his senses. Maybe Jerry Rosper will say, hand it to that guy. While he's <laughs> figuring out the clock. I hope. I really do hope. I'm, I'm taking that side of it with you, Bob. I'm on there. Simon, are you are you with uh, Bob and I? Got it. It hurts turning down a trade with Kelsey on the other side. You know I'm a sucker for that uh, for for some Travis Kelsey in the tight end spot, but I'm with you. AJ Brown and Javante Williams is too much value on the other side. All right, guys, let's load up our next puzzle fantasy. Let's do it, fortune. We are cruising, 
Cruising for a bruising. All right, football jargon is the category. <laughs> oh. These are just football jargon. It says what it says. Let's see. Oh, make sure I have these comments up. All right, who got the last? Simon, you got the last one. Says so Jay, you are going first on this one. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, Jay, take a take a stroll with me on over to the FanDuel sure. Sportsbook. You want to hold hands? Oh, no. Of course I do. Of course I <laughs> Mom do. said, oh, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> the FanDuel Sportsbook. Over. All right. Over. <laughs> All right, uh, Jay, if that is your real name, tell me. It's not. Well, first of all, let me, let me set the scene here. I'm going to set a little context. So the Minnesota Vikings are playing at the New, or- New Orleans Saints – this this weekend it's a london game and i need you to tell me true or false the vikings are favored over the saints by four and a half points can we go false false is correct it's two and a half points what letter would you like it's worked so far let's go with another s s there's two s's that's going to give you a thousand in your round bank Bye, Val. Take another question, or you can solve. Let's take another question. Take another question. All right. Let's ooh, let's see if I can find a good one. All right. <laughs> All right, Jay. I don't like that. In the game tonight, like the, the Miami Dolphins are playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Who is the True. who is the odds-on favorite uh, to be the an anytime touchdown scorer? Is it Tyreek Hill? Is it Joe Mixon? Is it Jamar Chase or is it T. Higgins? Well, if you were listening to the Front Yard Fantasy Morning Show this morning on Better Sports Network, then you would know the answer to this question. I sure wasn't. Man, should have woken up. I I, did, I gave you four options. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. Getting creative with the questions. What can I say? Mm. Let's go with Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon is correct. What letter would you like? Let's go. I'm going to take a shot at this one. Let's go with a P. P. Bonk. Nice Uh, try. Hmm. All right. I think you were thinking the same thing as me, Simon, is what it sounds like. Bob, we are back to you. I I would like a question about uh, Joe Burrow's suit as he walked into the (laughs) locker room tonight. Was it fantastic? It's glorious. Oh, I no, haven't seen it. I gotta look no, it I gotta up. See it. All right, Bob. We're gonna go into some week three questions. Week three questions. Sound good to you? Please. All right. Tell me, Bob, who had more fantasy points in week three? Who had more fantasy points in week three? Was it Damian Pierce or was it Zay Jones? It was Zay Jones. Zay Jones is correct, Bob. What letter would you like? I would like a, I would like the N. N. There's one N. It's going to give you 500 in your round bank, Bob. You can buy a vowel here, or you can take another question, or you could solve. Question me. Question you. You got it. All right, Bob. Tell me who has more, who had more passing yards in week three? Who had more passing yards in week three? Was it Geno Smith or Davis Mills? It was Geno Smith. That is correct. Two for two, Bob. What letter would you like? Or I'm sorry. Yeah, what letter would you like? I'll try a T, please. T. Bonk. No T. What the hell is with the T? I don't know. Something's happening with the T's. I'm writing Simon. a pen here, JL. If you could just like the double S here, you've you've ruined two different sheets of paper with the P and the T not working over there. You might need to see a doctor. You're killing the environment. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. Sorry. I took it out on you when really it's, okay. it's my own stupidity that's causing this problem. It's not your stupidity. It's Jay's stupidity. It's your boy that's, causing stupidity. This problem. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right, Simon. We are back to you. Would you like a question or would you like yeah, to solve? I would like a question. Question. All right, Simon. Who had more fantasy points in week three? Who had more fantasy points in week three? Was it Clyde Edwards Alaire or Jeff Wilson? Ooh. CEH had a decent week. I'm going to go with CEH. CEH is correct. What yeah. letter would you like? I, I was struggling to remember Jeff's game for some reason, but I think that's just how all, all Jeff Wilson different. games are. <laughs> yeah. <It's just, laughs> you have a hard time remembering them. 18 um, so for the, 75. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, he, he was there and he did pretty right. good. 
Did he um, break one law? Is basically what you have to remember or not. Let's go with an L. L. Two L's, Simon. I'm going to give okay. you a thousand. Not where I thought that was, but that works. Um, I will. I'll buy a vowel. Let's go with an O. An O. There's one O. It's going to cost you a hundred. Well, okay. That's it for me. I'll take another question. Taking another question. All right. Simon, I think you and I were on the same same wavelength there with the O. Well, I was in trouble then. All right, Simon. Tell me that who had fun. more receptions in week three. Who had more receptions in week three? Was it Elijah Moore or Mark Andrews? Mark Andrews. That is correct. What letter would you like? I will go with the letter R. R. Bonk. No R's. Ugh. No R's. Sorry. Well, Jay, Bonk. best of luck to you on your term. I, I hope you get My it. My term? Yeah. On yeah. your term. All right, Jay. Would you like a question or would you like to solve? Uh, you I could definitely buy do not want to solve. Let's, uh, let's go with the question. All right, Jay. Tell me, who had more receiving yards week three? Who had more receiving yards in week three? Was it Tyler Higby or was it Travis Kelsey? You had to come to me with a Tyler Higby question, didn't you? Going to go, I think you're you're going with the trick. I'm going to go with Tyler Higby. That is correct. What letter would you like? Um... Uh... Let's go with a M for Mancy. Two M's. Oh, I got it's it. Gonna give you a thousand. Oops. Get oh, let's wheel. spin. Don't let it get back to me. I think I got it. What'd you like to do here, Jay? Let's buy an E. An E. There are two E's. It's gonna cost you two hundred. Your options are the same. What's it going to be, Jay? Let's buy an A. An A. Two A's. And your options are the same. Oh, what's that first one? All right, I'm going to go into my question. Okay. All right, who had more rece- who had more fantasy points in 2022? Or, I'm sorry, who had more fantasy points in week three, I can't talk. Who had more fantasy points in week three? Was it LaVisca Chenault or was it Tom Brady? Is this four point passing or six point passing? Default. Well, my default six point, but. Dale, yeah, what side are you getting these from? Just so we can we can answer it. Is fantasy it from- data. Fantasy okay, data, so I believe they do that, four that points. That default's four, so. Yep. Okay, so that's 12. <sighs> I got to answer LaVisca. That is correct. What letter would you like? Let's go with K, because this is my third, right? Uh, I believe so. Okay, so I'll, I'll at least get the, the money. I, that first word I can't figure out. Oh, I got it. Let me solve. Say it exactly. Fumble, fumble, flag, GM, loss, sneak. Well done, Jay. You got it. Nice job, Jay. See, it was all Thank that you. good luck that I wished you. I, it, oh, it was that's, the that's kindness exactly and what then it was. you solved it. I'm if you could pay me Mr. back Mr. Scampers got real close like four minutes ago. I thought oh, OT oh. for the, the two letter, and then it was like toss <clears> and pass, and I just lost did not cross my mind until there was an L there. Man, all right, so we got some more questions in here in the chat. Connor Raposa asking, Rashad Penny, DK, or Curtis Samuel at flex? Full PPR. What do you think here, Bob? I mean, generally speaking, the answer is always Curtis Samuel with the flex. Um, <laughs> uh, in this case, though, I mean... I do think this is going to be a little bit of a, a an offensive showcase, if you will. Uh, Seattle against Detroit. I might go DK in this one. Go on, DK. DK, what do you think, Simon? Yeah, I'm going DK as well. Um, 
I, I agree. This Lions team, the offense has been wildly exciting, but that defense hasn't been anything exceptionally special. And wide receivers especially have been able to get it done. This uh, this Lions team is in like the bottom third of the league whenever it comes to fantasy points given up to wide receivers through these first couple weeks. So we'll have to watch that. Maybe it gets better, but I, I'll go DK here. I'll go DK. We got they got one, one. They got one shutdown corner there, right? They they got this dude that uh, Okuda who's coming in, but yep. I'm not sure he's going to be on DK Metcalf. I'm 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 taking my bet that he's going to be on Tyler Lockett. More. Really? Be interesting. Be interesting to see. We got Ring Chase in here asking, would you trade Javante Williams uh, and Curtis Samuel for Tyreek Hill? What do you think, Jay? It really depends on the makeup of your team. Um, First instinct is yes, but if you know if you're going to wind up with Rashad Penny as your RB two, then no. Um, I'm I'm an RB heavy guy, but right now Nathaniel Hackett isn't using Javante Williams like the bell cow that everybody wants him to be. I do think that's going to be the case by the end of the year. <clears throat> um, I would probably lean the Tyreek Hill side, um, just because I I am really concerned about the Broncos offense. What do you think, Bob, on this one? Would you trade Javante Williams uh, and Curtis Samuel for Tyreek Hill? I think I should recuse myself because I am a hammer and, and Curtis Samuel is my nail. Um, <laughs> <too hot. laughs> That's <a> real hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I would probably do this trade. You agree with him, Simon? Yeah, triple it up. Triple it up. Ba, ba, ba. All right, guys, let's get into our next puzzle. Loading up number five. Number five. All right, this is an NFL player slash song mashup. NFL player slash song mashup. Bob, you are first in this one. Are you ready? Please give me the question. Yes, sir. All right, Bob, tell me, who has more fantasy points on the season? So season long, who has more fantasy points on the season? Is it Tyreek Hill or is it, excuse me, uh, Marquise Brown? It's Tyreek Hill. That is correct. What letter would you like? I'll start out with an R. R. There are two R's. That's going to give you a thousand in the round bank. Bob, you can buy Val here. You can ask another, or you can ask for another question. Or you ask can a question if you want, Bob. Why not? You can. Go ahead. Go for it. Uh, is Mr. Scampers really a cat? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's a question. One hundred percent. Yeah, never. I already knew the answer. It was a never trick question. question. <laughs> just see I'll, you guys. I'll, I'll take another question please taking another question you got it bob who's more rushing yards on the season who's more rushing yards on the season is it aaron jones or Najee harris it's aaron jones that is correct what letter would you like i would like the letter i'm gonna go with the t again t even though it's burn you twice going with the t Bonk, Burn just ball. three Seriously? times. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Bob. I hit Simon. on 16, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, like a real, real man. man. Like a real man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Simon. Yeah, I need a question. I wish Maybe. I could just rain man this one, but I got nothing. And jail, like, I'm terrified that this is a song mashup and you're the one who picked the song. Because I mm. think every song mashup or band mashup I've ever done, you've been like, "Who? Who is I'm this?" Like, it's- I'm like, if it's not '90s thrash, I'm I'm probably doing. <laughs> Luckily for you, Jail's a huge '90s thrash fan. Don't um, worry, I think just- everybody knows these. Knows this one, I mean, not these. There, there aren't multiple songs. <laughs> I'm ready for a question. All right, all right, Simon. Uh, who is more rushing yards in this year? Who is more rushing yards this year? Is it Taysom Hill? Or Melvin Gordon? Melvin Gordon. That's correct. What letter would you like? I was going to be so mad if that was like, I was like, there's absolutely that's gonna, that's gonna no be Simon's way. Ken Dorsey moment. I, <laughs> yeah, that, that's when I break my tablet. I mean, it's, um, it's like 30 or 40 rushing yards apart. There's not that, not that big of a gap. God. And before I get too mad thinking about Taysom Hill. Bonk. And what? no ends. I, I guess if you think about it, Taysom Hill has probably has like way less uh carries he's just been super efficient he's got like four he's got carries like six up snaps <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but somehow has only like 30 yards less than melvin gordon all right well, Jay. his legs are so long that each yard is actually longer oh like, they measure it works. different yeah they measure it different for him so i see yeah it's exactly all right jay works. you ready let's do it all right uh who has more rushing yards 
2022 who has more rushing yards in 2022 is it cam Akers or is it debo samuel i'm gonna go with debo debo is correct what letter would you like it's worked well for me let's go with an s there's one s well, that ruins everything what'd you like to do here jay let's buy an i is it rhymes there are two eyes. That's going to cost you 200. Oh. And you do not have enough for more vowels. So you can take another question or solve. What would you like to do here? Let's uh, take a question. All right. Who has more rushing yards in 2022 so far? Who's more rushing yards in 2022 so far? Is it Daniel Jones or is it Rashad Penny? I'm going to go Daniel Jones. Sorry, it was a shot penny. Shot penny. Bob, we're moving on to you. Daniel Jones lets me down again. Once again. <laughs> One more time. Ball short at the five-yard line. <laughs> <laughs> Trips over his own feet. <laughs> over his own tootsies. All right, Bob, what would you like to do here? Question me, please. Question, you got it. Right, Bob, who has had who has had more fantasy points on the season so far? Who's had more fantasy points on the season so far? Trevor Lawrence or Cordero Patterson? Uh, Trevor Lawrence. That's correct. What letter would you like? Take an F. F. Bonk. No Fs. No Fs. Not so lucky with the letters tonight, Bob. No, apparently not. Simon, out. we're moving on to you. Yeah, I'm going to need a question. I'm going to need a question here, JL. Question, question. All right, I got you. Uh, who has more passing yards in the season? Who has more passing yards in the season? Derek Carr, or Marcus Mariota. Derek Carr. That is correct. What letter would you like? A C. C. There's one C. Shoot. Well, I was hoping for more. I need. Uh, I need another question. A question. You got it. All right, Simon. Uh, who's had more rushing yards in the season? Khalil Herbert or Jamal Williams? Ooh, it's such a small sample size. I feel like there's not been many games. I feel like it's got to be Herbert with that big game he just had. I'm going to go Herbert. Herbert is correct. Well done, Simon. Like, well, like 140 go. yards in only week three. Like, it's got to be that, dude. I'll <laughs> yeah. take an H. H. There's one H. Well, shoot. Okay, I knew that said. Chris, I was really hoping to see your <laughs> H would show up somewhere else. <laughs> now I just showed it to Bob and Jay, who also probably already knew that said, Chris. Um, I will take I did not. question. Oh, Taking shoot. another question. This is your third question, right, Simon? This is my third question. I've gotten a grand total of one letter each time. So that should say <laughs> a thousand right there. Yeah, whoops. Forgot to add that. All right, Simon, who has had more fantasy points uh, on the season? Who's had more fantasy points on the season? Curtis Samuel, Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton's done all right the past two weeks. Like I know I know Curtis Samuel's been consistent. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Cortland Sutton. And you're going to be wrong. Oh, really? Wow. I, I thought Curtis Curtis that Why enough? don't you believe me, Simon, when I tell you <laughs> Curtis Samuel is the answer to everything out there? You're, you literally just told me. I've got no one to blame but myself for that one, Bob. It's true. Do. The scammer said, what the heck, JL? What is this puzzle? All right, uh, Jay, we're moving on to you. You ready? Yay, I guess, because I have no earthly idea what this is. So let's go. All Chris, right, Chris which who? which NFL team has scored more points in the season? This is actual NFL points. Which NFL team has scored more points on the season? Is it the Rams or is it the Chargers? I'm going to go with the Chargers. Bonk! It was the Rams. Yeah. Sorry, Jay. Bob, we're moving on to you. I'll take it. You like question. a question? Got it. Which team has had a higher number of passing attempts in 2022, Bob? Which team has had a higher number of passing attempts in 2022? The Colts or the Eagles? The Eagles. Sorry, is the Colts? The yeah, the Colts. Sacks too. Colts are number. Uh, I'm not sure. It's, a, it's just passing attempts. All right, you know that's kind of thing. Yeah, Simon, we're moving on to you. Let's do it. All right. Which team has had more plays run, more offensive plays, more offensive plays in 2022? The Lions or the Chiefs? 
This feels like a tricky question. Um, I'll go Lions. That's correct, Simon. What letter would you like? Uh, <sighs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now. An M. Really M. confident there's an M in there's there. There's one M. Oh. Oh, that really unlocked the puzzle for me, man. Well, that's yeah, going to that... give you another 500, Simon. You can I mean, buy just... a vowel here. Yeah, I will. But I'm just going to watch. It's just not going to be up there. But I'm going to do it anyways. Um, we are going to buy an A is what we're going to buy. Hey, there are three A's. It's going to cost you three hundo. Two, three. And your options are the same, Simon. You can buy a vowel. You can take another question or you can solve. I, I'll take a question. All right, Simon. Which NFL team has had more turnovers so far this year? Which NFL team has had more turnovers so far this year? Is it the Jets or is it Steelers? Joe Flacco has been slinging that ball. He's been killing it. Elite Joe Flacco. It's the Steelers. It is not the Steelers. Damn it's it. the Jets. Uh, yeah, Joe Flacco has been slinging the ball. He has been slinging <laughs> He's the ball. Been picks <laughs> exactly. A lot of turnovers. Yeah, a lot of like, turnovers. Like, to three. Like four, I think, this week or something. Totally like elite. Yeah, Jay, you're like, uh, all your logic's right. You just really followed it down to the wrong path. Because <laughs> you kept saying Joe Flacco, and then you said Steelers, and I kept expecting you to say Jets. So I was I'm like, just did really he mean that? The Joe like Flacco every draft I'm in, there. it turns out the process doesn't always lead to the best results. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Jay, we are moving back to you. Would you like a question? Or Let's can you solve it? it? Uh, absolutely not. All right, Jay, which NFL team has had more turnovers this season? Which NFL team has had more turnovers this season? Is it the 49ers or is it the Bengals? Bengals. It is the Bengals. What letter would you like? Good luck. Let's go with, give me the D. Give him the D, bonk. This is such that's a weird a way to spell bonk. Ave for that middle that's word. It. That's where my mind is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob, we're back there. to you. Would you like a question? Bob's thinking, he's trying to get this puzzle. What do you think, Bob? Question. Question. <laughs> question. <laughs> All right, Bob. Which NFL team has had more rushing touchdowns this season? Which NFL team has had more rushing touchdowns this season? Is it the Commanders or is it the Patriots? It's a trap. This is a trap. It's a trap. It's the Commanders. I'm sorry, Bob. It was not a trap. It was the Patriots. Jail's <laughs> getting in our heads gut. now. <laughs> Jail, I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> it's oh. Nice Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get this. All right, Simon, take a take a stroll with me. Yeah, I'm ready. So let's take a walk. Let's take a walk down to the FanDuel Sportsbook. Ah, ah, Simon, tell me which NFL, which 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 player is which more NFL? which NFL, <laughs> which uh, NFL? which player has higher odds to be to score three plus touchdowns tonight? Which player has higher odds to score three plus touchdowns tonight? Is it T Higgins or is it Tyreek Hill. By higher odds, do you mean the like more likely player? More likely like, player, yeah. So the okay, just wanted to clarify yeah. there. Um, Who's Tyreek Hill? More favorited? I'll say favorite. the English. I, I think the word you always forget is favored. Favored, favored right? You don't favorited. have to throw that T in there. Favorited. It's always that T that you want. It's the T. See, Bob can't favorite stay away from the T. Weird. You can't stay away from the T. Um, yeah. And I answered Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is absolutely correct. Is plus thirty nine hundred odds versus. Plus 5,500. And, um, L. L. There's one L. Whoa. Ah, stupid wheel. Get out of my face. All right, Simon, it's going to give you a 500. I don't know how long we've been doing this puzzle. It seems yeah, like forever, I, though. Yeah, and I, um, an hour and more a half, vowels, I so I'm going to, I'm going to buy a vowel. Okay. Because I think I got a better shot of getting a vowel that's out there because there's only three of them left. Okay. Uh, just guessing letters elsewhere. I'm going to put a U in there because U's and A's go together regularly. You're going to put a U. U's and A's. Um, no! Dang it. All right, Jay, back to you. 
You can take a question or yeah. you can solve. Uh, I can't solve. I'll tell you that. So let's oh go my with the question. Gosh, I'm so stupid. It out. This is, I, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> All right, Jay, who is favored to uh, to be an anytime touchdown scorer tonight? Who's favored to be an anytime oh. touchdown scorer tonight? Is it Mike Kosicki or is it Samaje P. Ryan? I'm going to go Kosicki. Sorry, it was Samaje P. Ryan at plus wow. uh, 220 versus Kosicki's plus 360. Wow. Bob, back to you. Do we have to? Yeah, we have to. <laughs> right. Give me a question. All right, Bob. Tell me, tell me, Bob. I need to know which NFL team has had more rushing yards so far this season. Which NFL team has had more rushing yards so far this season? Is it the Bears or is it the 49ers? The Bears. The Bears are correct. What letter would you like? P. P. Bonk. No peas. Simon, we're back Simon to you. Knows. Simon got knows. It. Put us out it. of our and, um, Simon. And here's, here's the worst part is when I bought a vowel last turn, there was only one I could have picked that wouldn't show up there, and it was the <laughs> U. And I also said most of the answer to this puzzle oh, earlier whenever we were going I, over I, it. I, it is Chris that it. Olave Maria is the answer to this Chris puzzle, Chris Olave JL. Maria. I hate you. This is that's God, a good one. Such a I good hated puzzle, you for a JL. while, but that's really good. Uh, you guys were like, "Oh, it's gonna be so obscure." I was like, "Everybody knows Ave Maria." Yeah, it's, it's a, a song from Step Brothers, classic. right? Yeah, it's a song from Step Brothers. Yeah, written and composed for the movie Step Brothers. Right. Right. Well done. I think that's gonna do it for our game, guys. I think we're at time. What does that mean, I've Jay? The winner of today's game, hammered, <laughs> pounded. <laughs> mercilessly well, beaten like a small redheaded stepchild <laughs> let me be honest bob we uh we kind of needed a morale boost and i'm sorry but you were the victim so that's why we told you that we were playing right. jeopardy was, gave you the wrong game time. ahead of time it since you wrong prepare. information to play i felt for. like i felt like since i won this one last time i was on like i had a decent chance the last time i was on we played this one yeah i dominated yeah, I trust remember. you all. I showed no more. <laughs> this is the beginning Replay of Bob's that villain one. People story. People go back on the YouTube. <laughs> and this time, all we had to do was cheat mercilessly to beat you, right. Bob. But you know what? All's fair in fantasy football. If you have to cheat to win, do. I'm just kidding. Do not cheat to win. But Bob, seriously, thank you so much for taking the time to come on with us today, my man. It is always so much fun streaming with you. Yeah, we love you, Bob. No better way to spend an hour. Thanks, guys. I love it. Guys, make sure you go and follow our friend Bob over on Twitter at Football Die Hard and check out his work and everyone over at Football Die Hard's at footballdiehard.com. Um, they're putting out awesome stuff over there on the regular. And uh, listen to Bob on Football Die Hard on Sirius XM. Oh, Fantasy, I've been on there. And you've been on there? I've been on there. Joe's been on there. I've been on so there. Make, I stay up late enough to come on anymore. <laughs> you yeah, never we're, asked. We're babies now. We we go yeah, to sleep like early. early we're kids. we're little we're little yeah. babies. We go to Golden Corral at four p.m. and then we're in bed by seven. That's what we so do Steve, every so night. Cool. Hit the in the ground me. floor on a growing enterprise, <laughs> it's worth getting up early, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that is going to be it for us this week. If you've got fantasy questions that you want answered right after this over on our channel at Front Yard Fantasy, we will be answering all of those. And if you don't feel like clicking anything, just stay right here and it should redirect you over there automatically. Until then, though, we are out of here. Thank you, everyone, for coming in and playing with us. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye-bye. Adios, everyone. Bye.